Hi, it's Catherine. And you might be feeling like everything is chaos and spinning out of control, which is exactly why I want to talk to you about control today. Specifically, what you can and can't control and why that's really important. Hi, this is Katherine Morgan from Point A to Point B Transitions. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of understanding what you can and can't control because it's a great way to pull up from stressful things and uh, overwhelm and fear and uh, anxiety and a bunch of other things you might be experiencing. I find myself thinking a lot about the serenity prayer that they teach in recovery programs. And you probably have heard it or some variation of it. It goes like this. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. If you only have one thing tacked up on your wall these days, that could be super helpful. I can't control what's gonna happen with the economy. I can't, I'd love to, but I can't. What I can control is how I show up, how I show up for my friends to support them, how I show up for my clients to support them. Do I regularly do marketing and outreach and ask for referrals that I can't control? Maybe my, my business will be fine, maybe it won't, but I cannot control the economy and it's pointless to worry about it. I also can't control if we're gonna experience another wave of this pandemic. I sincerely hope not. I suspect we might. There is nothing I can do about that. But what I can do is make sure that I am taking really good care of me. I'm eating well, I'm sleeping well, I'm exercising, I'm doing my meditation, I'm doing my yoga, I'm, doing, I'm eating well, I'm cooking. I can make sure that I'm taking super good care of me and also not being an idiot and putting myself at risk. So I'm not putting myself at risk. I'm wearing mask. I'm, my immune system is zooming. I should be fine. I can control that. I think during these chaotic times, it's really important to understand and give up control, what you can't possibly control. It's not worth stressing out about. It's not worth spending your energy that way. Your energy is a finite resource and you should spend it as carefully as you spend your money or your time for that matter, but that would be a different video. I wanna leave you with that thought. Take your power back. Understand what you can control and what you can't. And get clear on that and just be okay with that. Have serenity to accept the things that you cannot change, the courage to change the things you can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I hope this has been helpful. This has been Katherine Morgan from Point A to Point B Transitions. Thank you.